Hillsbrook is kind of like America's Tuscany, you know, rolling hills, hot and dry in the summer. It's very cool in the winter time, which is perfect environment for grapes. Come on. Come on, Brent, let's go look. It's definitely been a place that has been sort of a hidden hidden gem. There is kind of still a rusticness about it. So I guess there's two females there and one male must be. That black one must be the male. In the animal kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> the farmers are still around and working here. Let me get um, let me get some of the slow radicchio. That'd be great. There is still that kind of original Hillsburg feeling. And it's becoming more of a culinary mecca. There are a lot of people that are specializing in a certain kind of craft. You're an artist at what you do. We try to specialize in pork and curing meats. Am I regular? I am, unfortunately. I'm addicted. I'm addicted <laughs> to the salami. So. Have you had the pork cheek sandwich? That's like our signature sandwich. It's saucy. Saucy, huh? It's saucy. We have a sandwich on the menu that's called the pork cheek sandwich, and it's uh, pork cheeks braised with uh, red wine and tomato, and uh, it's served on a house-made roll with roasted peppers and salsa verde. It takes days to actually get the cheek from raw to a sandwich. Pork cheek! Because of all the the seasoning, marinating, and then slow cooking that has to be done. And the burger. Hey guys, all set? The concept for this restaurant is that it's slow food done fast. Slow food, it's in response to fast food. Using seasonal ingredients, ingredients that are naturally raised, a lot of heirloom ingredients, so things that haven't been modified genetically a lot. Um, and it's also making things from scratch, from start to finish. Ready? Ready, ready? We roll the dough out really, really thin, so it's thin crust Italian style. We also don't put very much sauce. We make our own pepperoni here, too. As uh, former New Yorkers, we're sort of picky about our pizza, and we were very impressed, actually. Very good, very good. <laughs> I'm really trying to show people the best quality ingredients done simply good. <laughs> and done very well. It's lasagna. Let's go. Can I bring you guys anything else right now? If I'm tasting a lot of food or making specials, then I actually do eat over the course of the night. But there are some nights where, you know, I'll be home and I'll be really hungry and I don't particularly want to cook something for myself, nor do I necessarily want to go out to dinner. So, I mean, you know, sometimes I'll make progresso soup for dinner. But I definitely wouldn't eat, like, Campbell's. I don't, I don't go that far. <laughs>